Hey YouTube Sack Guy here. Uh, today I got something kind of special. For me it is anyway. This is the Case Copperhead. It's the 2021 Vault Knife. It's the pattern they took out of the vault. Now this pattern was introduced originally prior to World War One, And we got two dates for World War I. Uh, in Europe they started declared war in August of 1914 the US joined the war in April about 1917 so sometime I don't know if they're talking about prior to World War one started or when we joined so but this knife pattern was introduced back into early 1900s we'll just say that and then they stopped making around 1999 this is the blue Caribbean bone and this is the acrylic red white and blue the reason I got two of them and I'll probably get two more is the blade patterns the first one is the blue Caribbean bone Warncliffe blade and then the red white and blue one has a clip point blade and as you can see they have half half stops on the master blade and the smaller pen blade and they both have our two bladed configurations there's a third configuration they're going to come out with which is a uh, single blade knife and that's going to possibly have a clip point blade on it you know we'll have to wait and see uh, go over the specs real quick on this handle is three and seven eighths inches long the blade is three inches overall it's six and seven eighths inches open It weighs in, according to the factory, 3.8 ounces. But according to my scales, this one weighs 3.2 ounces, and this one weighs 3 ounces even. The other three copperhead knives that I have, that I got back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, all weigh 3 ounces. So... Now both of these have stainless steel blades and they have the new tang stamp on them which is kind of cool. But to uh, show you my other three, the first one I got in 1973, it's a brown jig bone handle. Um, case shields a little bit different and one thing I've noticed is that the pull on this one is probably a seven and the pull on these is around a four or five so and the fit and finish on these are pretty good now they're still basic same design reason that they're called the copperhead is because on the bolster is rounded like this reason for that is supposed to reduce pocket snag and it has uh, nickel silver bolsters same as this has as this has brass liners brass pins same here and you can see the, the brass liners there and this has brass liners this I got when I was in Alaska in 73 then I got this one because I went somewhere forgot to bring my pocket knife with me and figured I needed one 
saw this at the exchange grabbed it said that's cool and this is a 1980 if you look at the blade on this and then compare it to this one this has a little bit of patina on it both of these are carbon steel blades so this one hasn't been used that much so that's why it still looks pretty shiny and then my third one is my uh, round this was made around 1996 and it's got a little bit uh, easier pull around a four or five on it same as these and uh, again the brass pins brass liners and I believe this is no nope, this is a CV but again hasn't been used very much so it's still all nice bright and shiny they're all kind of cool um, just tickled pink that case brought this back out um, I really like this this particular knife I have used off and on well for about I want to say uh, six or seven years this was pretty much the only knife I carried in my pocket until I got into Swiss Army knives but this was for me the knife to have uh, done many many things with it from cutting the steak at, in the chow hall sometimes you really needed a sharp knife for that to you know skinning animals cutting cordage making you know carving sticks and so on now I said there was going to be a three blade configuration they're going to be coming out with another one that will have just a single clip point blade and I read somewhere someone or heard someone say that they thought there was going to be a, a single blade configuration of maybe a worn cliff I don't know about that but all these are two bladed uh, cool knives you know I have average size hands so this fills up my hand in these new ones same way uh, just really nice nice feel to them so like I said I'll probably be getting another one uh, another yellow just to go with the year knives that I've got so far to have a year knife that's yellow and I'll probably get a single blade version when that comes out and if I see one in stag I'm probably gonna get that too I might go nuts this year <laughs> oh well hope you enjoyed this quick review of the 2021 case copperhead knife and my older collection of case copperheads if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember Always be prepared.